Hello everyone, Kunes here and welcome to episode 4 of this Let's Play in Crusader Kings 2 for the Navarri's Meritocracy. Where we last left off, we finally had an elective Agnatic Cognatic, which means we can nominate. And since we're the only one holding land in here, we're like the king of our stuff, um, we're the only one who gets to decide, so our best son gets the title. Or we'll get everything, he has 16 stewardship. He has no diplomacy, though. He wants to become steward again. Yeah, but Rashid, man! Hmm... That seems like an abuse. Raise his stewardship to 17, then fire him again. Yeah... Um... Maybe let's not do that. It feels a little too cheesy. Uh, what's the Umayyad doing? And can I declare war? All right. Last time we wanted to declare war on them because we realized we could. We can totally declare war on them. And do we have allies that we can call? Uh, I claim Asturias for my daughter-in-law. But we figured that that would wait since we'll have plenty of opportunities and technically, well, we're 47 but maimed, so you know. King Fortun of Navarra will most likely die in the not too far out future. So yeah. Um let's still go to war with this guy. Uh wait. Let's check the state of our allies. He likes us, but he's busy. He is defending against Duke Bernard of Barcelona's claim on Toulouse. So wait, are you independent right now? You are independent. I don't have a valid reason to declare war on him, though. Uh, oh wait, he's not independent either. But then how is he at war with... Attacking Duke Bernard of Toulouse. Toulouse, wait, then... that Oh, that's not his war. I clicked the wrong guy. Whoops. You are defending in the Shailander Conquest of Hamburg. Which is up here somewhere, while Lothringia is having, like, massive civil wars. Which is awesome, I guess. Or maybe not. Because it means that these guys are all tied up. And they're my buddies, my allies. They don't like having been called into war too many times. I don't blame them. But, at the same time, I kind of need them. So, uh, maybe we'll wait... How's the conquest of Hamburg going? Where's Hamburg? Here. No, that's Galeray. I don't even know where Hamburg is right now. Hamburg! Here! They're trying to conquer that! Oh. Okay. And I think they're losing pretty badly because East Francia is strong. I actually think now is the time to strike too, because he has a peasant revolt, and it's actually... We don't see it, but I remember it's splitting into two, and there being like two peasant stacks right now. What's his military like? 3,600. We have dollars, we can definitely go to war with him using dollars. We don't have a big army though. King Louis the Stammerer is uh... Well, we already sent him a gift, we called him to war three times. Uh, what's the diplomacy relationships? Uh, I guess he dislikes him. Can I even? No, I can't check. He's allied with me, and he'd have a reason to declare war on him. But I can't see their opinions of each other anymore. I used to be able to. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that is what I'm looking at. Um. Is there still a way to do it? Opinions! Ah, yes! You dislike him. Uh, actually, it's him that dislikes him. Wow, you hate everyone. Infidel, so it's a zero. So King Charles hate him at zero, and he hates, him at, hates me at minus four, so he wouldn't join. Um... Italy wouldn't join. But 
Aquitaine would. Hmm. Are these all of the allies I have? No, I'm also allied to Asturias. Ah, uh, Asturias. Would you join me in war? He has a truce. For four more years. And I don't. I still don't get why I don't have a truce. Hmm. How much are mercenaries? Most of my dollars to equal it. Even hope to get close to his army size. Hmm. That is risky. That is incredibly risky. Uh, but would Asturias? Uh, I don't know if he'd join me or not. I don't know if, he, like, if I could even call him into war. He's currently incapable, too, so... Uh, but if he comes to war and is my ally... So many things to consider! This is a hard decision again. This is such a hard decision. Also, since I'm maimed... Ah... Oh, I could die at any time. I don't know if I'll get my claim on Ireland and then die. That would suck. Um... Hmm... I'm still undecided. But I need to take a decision. So... Do we count on the Catholic Uprising? We could help the Catholic Uprising and call in our allies. And see what happens. Oh, he does have a truce with me. And why does it say I can declare war on him? I guess he can't declare war on me, but I can. When is that truce going to expire? Uh, Castilian Holy War for Castile. Yeah, okay, so he's busy with that and his uprising. He won't attack me for another 10 years. Let's wait until Asturias' uh, truce expires and we'll see where we go from there. I have children lacking education. Like, a niece who's not even of my blood, I'll just get educated by a random person, I don't care. And you're a kinswoman without any defining qualities, but... You're not entirely bad either. Here, I'll have my son educate her. I'm sure he'll be happy about that. Anderkina Aurelio. I don't want to press any of those claims. I mean, de jure claims. Alright. Let's wait and see what happens. More speed. We need to wait a couple years. How's he doing against his Catholic uprising? Right now the Catholic uprising is winning, which is awesome! Prince Fernando of Asturias has declared war for Castile. I could claim Castile for her. Wait, is he not incapable anymore? Oh, he still is. He doesn't have a regent. Can only get Castile. Why could I get the other ones before? I don't even. Un That's weird. All right, doesn't matter. We're not pressing that. Aha! He wants me to join him. Uh, I guess we'll join him. I don't need to be at peace right now. I already changed my laws. Since I already changed the succession laws, I can't go to absolute cognatic yet. Who are you? You're Berber Sunny and your husband is dead. You're 26, you have no defining qualities. You're going to the Ubliet. You're a heathen! Oh, that's a huge ass army. Yeah, I don't want to touch that with a 10 foot pole. Ooh, I have a brave son. My brave grandson, six year old. I will educate you. Myself. I will teach you the ways. And I'm only a thrifty cleric. If I was really careful, I could actually make sure that he gets the right education later. He's already brave, so, you know, he's turning out nice. Let's go. Oh, my grandson. I am proud of him. He's just. That's excellent. 
Oh wow, he's losing against that host really badly, and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything about that. That that that's just. Oh, I have a daughter. She's not a genius either. Hmm. Ooh, some guy died in my dungeons. Wait, that reminds me. Prisoners, can I ransom them? Like this guy. Ooh, he'll pay his own ransom. Sweet! I'll gain a lot of dollars! Uh, do I lie or... Do I, um... No, I'll, I'll lie. I'll become deceitful. Yeah, lying. And a Bedouin Sunny. Oh, it's your wife! I have captured Sultana Layla of Umayyad Cal Sultanate. Alright. Let's, uh... Can I ransom her? He has no interest in his own wife. Really? To the Ubliet. <laughs> Yay, he pays his own ransom out. Now I have excessive amounts of money. Um, I can't afford nor get the university at the moment. Um, hmm. But I can boost town infrastructure, so now I could get a university if I wanted to. But since I plan on going to war with the Umayyads soon enough... Oh, I have a daughter! A granddaughter! And she's not a genius either. Okay. Oh wow, the Catholic Uprising is like doing some damage. Lots of damage. I hope it wins. His army is down to 2,500. Wait, wait! Those are event spawn troops. They will not go away instantly. Who is... this guy? You have claims on all of these? And my daughter-in-law... is your sibling. Which means... that if you win this war... And I certainly suddenly hope you do. But if you win this war, I can call you into war against the Umayyads and use all of those event spawn troops against the Umayyads. We have our course of actions. Go, Vernudo of Prince Vernudo's host. Win. Wait, why is he Sunni? Why is he Sunni? What is this? Is that why you don't like me? Oh, because we're at war? Except we won't be at war soon. And it's going to be plus 20, and he's going to jump into the positives. Oh! Uh, grandson wants to become deceitful. Uh, which would harm his diplomacy, but bolster his intrigue. Sure, even I'll be impressed. Ow. The seven-year-old is outraged by my succession law change. Alright. I want Vizcaya back at some point. But that shall wait. It most certainly shall wait. Um, hmm. Wow, that Catholic uprising is massive. Oh, you're, atta you're attacking. So it's your own Rhea's fault that you're dying. My wife is pregnant! Huzzah! Oh, I'm old now. I am old. My wife hates me, but she's pregnant. Eh, that's okay. And she wants to become spy master. Whoa. My daughter-in-law is spy master. Wow, a lot of people hate me. I feel so unloved. Um, can I make my own wife spy master? Queen of Navarra, my wife. Yes, I can fulfill her ambition. And she would actually become a better spy master. So we'll go with that. Fabricate a spy network here.
Whoa, he summoned some mercenaries that died instantly. Bad call. Very bad call. Oh, a rumor! Use it as you see fit! Dollars! Yeah! Kingdom of Castille has been usurped! Oh wow, and he even took... this. But he's Sunni! He likes me, though. Um... What's his army size like, just for the hell of it? He has 5,000 men. And what's his opinion of the Umayyads? 14. It's very close. I could probably convince him with dollars. And we do know I have a lot of dollars. I mean, this guy. Ah, crap. Wrong guy. This guy. Oh, 43. Saeed Prestige Piety. Oh. Now, why... Why did this guy become Sunni? Well, it doesn't really matter, ultimately. I can probably send him dollars, and then maybe he'll join me. Yeah. Let's send him dollars, and then... Let's go to war with this guy. I'm gonna get Valencia, because I want holdings on... Ooh, West France are united. I want holdings on the Mediterranean. So that I can go start having fun with, uh, maybe South Africa or something. I don't know. Or that may be risky, because then they can start having fun with me as well. That's maybe suddenly not as interesting. Navarra is one no. Toledo, one. Najera. Cordoba, I think I think Cordoba suddenly just became really interesting because from Cordoba I have access to several other duchies that are powerful like Granada and well all of this coast but also Seville which I believe is also pretty huge so yeah we're gonna go get Cordoba I think and Cordoba also happens to be his capital which will make things a lot more interesting so let's go to war for Cordoba alright we finally decided to do something. We're going to war for Cordoba. It's happening. Go! Call allies into war. No, he likes my enemy too much, even though I sent him dollars. That's depressing. But we're allies. Oh, that's King Louis de Stam... Oh, King Louis de Stammerer. Ah, why does he suddenly hate me, though? Let's send him dollars. And then call him to arms. Maybe. Yeah, I could work with that. King of Castile will not join religious enemies against brothers of the fate. Oh. It says maybe, though, so might as well make him lose prestige for it. Those are the only allies I can call. That's disappointing. Why can't I call you to war? Oh, he's refused my call to arms before. Okay. So, maybe we'll have King Louis de Stammerer. Maybe. We still have 2,000 men. That's impressive, actually. Yeah, he won't join me. I shouldn't be surprised. And the Stammer will not join me. I shouldn't be surprised, but that's still disappointing. A daughter! Oh, and that's... Oh, no, that's the peasants. The peasants are currently chasing his troops around. That's amusing. That's really amusing. Ooh, technology. Maybe I can gain more domain size? That wouldn't actually give me any domain size. That would make it easier for succession, though. Or, or, or... City vassal opinion? No, I don't have feudal vassals right now. Or if I have, they're horribly weak. So I don't really care about my vassals right now. Monthly piety and prestige? Maybe. Different culture, different religion? Maybe. I don't have any of those. I'll just go for legalism. Legalism is safe. Legalism is good. I like legalism. It makes me happy. Okay, what's his army size like now? 2,700 still. Um, vassal levies race too long. Oh, I can buy a painting. You come upon a monk sitting and painting a field. You observe his work and marvel at the composition, the colors, and the fine brush strokes that bring the simple canvas to life. This monk is truly an artistic prodigy. 
could buy his painting or ignore it. I'll buy his painting. Free prestige. We can call allies. King Alfonso of Asturias. Yeah! I forgot about him. Alright! Damn it, stop running. We got up to a piece of it. Yeah! We killed it. Oh wow. He died comatose and dead. We had an ally, then we didn't. Okay. So now, the Catholic Uprising is winning, and I'm kind of winning. I'm gonna lay a siege. Um. Maybe. Let's not lay a siege just yet. Let's kill his armies first. Wow, he has a lot of reinforcements. Wow, he wanted to lose armies. He lost a lot of armies. Where is this retreating to? Cadiz? Let's go to Cadiz. That sounds like fun. Oh, we killed a guy. And we captured a guy. And we captured another guy. Where are they going now? Here. Let's go! Apparently we're still fighting at hyperspeed. My maneuvers in battle have shown our patient nature to everyone. Yeah, I'm patient. And I improved my intrigue. I didn't know I wanted to improve my intrigue. Let's improve our diplomacy next. Yeah, we're doing awesome. Let's keep killing stuff. Boom! Where are your army at now? Things would be simpler if everyone was Basque. Free diplomacy, I'll take it. I'll take it with my ethnocentric view on the world. Oh wow, he's raising another army already. What's his army size at anyway? It's now... 1,600. Please kill me. No, we're ill and maimed. We're gonna die very, very, very soon. No, I'm alive. Never mind. You want to improve your skill diplomacy? You need to become a confident public speaker. Let's become a public speaker. Uh, the forest is not big enough for the barons. They demand hunting rights on the church land. Blah, blah, blah. Do I go for the bishops? Do I go for the bishop? Oh. Well then. Either I upset the bishop, or I make him happy. Stay on your side of the forest. Uh, who's this guy? Irish Catholic? Why is he even in my prison? Oh, because he's part of an Irish band. Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll ransom him. No interest? Eh, let him rot. I don't care. Um, but Bethesda's just raised an army, which means we suddenly need to spend dollars! Let's get our mercenaries ourselves! Like the Scottish bands. Good old Scottish band. Ooh, arranged marriage. Some random Andalusian Sunni courtier. You want to marry her? She's not even that good. Fine, take her. I don't care. No, no, no! Don't fight the Catholic uprising. We're on the same side. We fight for Jesus. Hmm. And we're severely weakening the Umayyads. And he's not even dead yet. When he dies, it's going to be even worse. Uh, do I want him to be content? I guess he can be content. Uh, we've just gained another siege. Alright. Let's keep sieging! Drop all the sieges! While well, we still haven't died. We're like 53 and maimed. Really will die, like, really soon. Just because we're maimed. Oh, we killed a guy! Oh, but, oh! Wait, we were supposed to lose this battle. Numbers speaking. But we didn't. Which is awesome! Military leadership shines again! He's coming back to attack. We win the siege. Oh, we won both sieges. Let's hunt his army with uh, 
a Scottish band. Oh, we killed a guy! Whoa, we captured him! We actually captured him! Could offer peace, or I could execute him. Let's kill him and see what happens. We still have 88% war score. And very soon, this guy who's 39, who has a ton of siblings and brothers and stuff, is going to run into severe problems of stability. Ah, he's surrendering. He's like, we surrender. Good. That's right. Ours. This war was even more worth it than we could have thought. It's like... Not only did we, like, gain the land we were after, for actually not that... Wow, we actually... Our, our treasury didn't really drop that much, even though we hired the Scottish band. But, we got to capture and actually execute the guy. And now we actually have... Do we have a truce with this guy? No, oh, we do, but... Oh! Oh, I just realized. We have a truce with him. He doesn't have a truce with us. So with Rajas of India, truces are no longer, like, two-sided. Truces are now, like, one-sided. Oh, there's a Castilian revolt. How are you doing with your Castilian revolt? <laughs> 51 men. I think you're losing. I think you're losing pretty badly. And how are you doing with your men? 5,000. He still has 5,000 men. This is ridiculous. Now are you doing against the Catholic Revolt? 79%! How are you doing militarily speaking? 1,600, the Catholic Uprising still has you beat in manpower. That's amazing! So we can't declare war on him, he can declare war on us! We should be ready for that. Uh, we also suddenly have too much land. What are we gonna do about that? Hmm give away some of it I guess but to who hmm this is a very problematic situation because if I give it to random people then suddenly there's random people voting against me for elective monarchy so I could give it to dynasty members like I could give it to family members but if I do that then I run into the risk of succession wars every time someone dies Right now I have siblings who have claims on my stuff. And I definitely don't want to go for siblings who aren't giving birth to the right people. Do I have a great-grandson? No, of course not. Not yet. I have a grandson, but that's about it. I'm not old enough to have a great-grandson yet. But I have a very large family. Um, but I think the family edge might be risky. Unless I was to give, like, one province to each of them. Hmm. Yeah, I could give, like, one province each to these three guys. And then they'd only have one province. And in fact, I could even give them the provinces I just took. Which are... Well, one of them's Andalusian Sunni. Two of them are Castilian Catholic. They probably won't be able to draw the full manpower... Uh, yet, from this province, and they'll be bickering among themselves trying to get the duchy anyway. So maybe, maybe we can do that. Um, yeah. And that way, too, the land stays in the family, which is important. Important for purposes of grooming our dynasty and our meritocracy and making things easier. So yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll give these pieces of land to our family. It's happening. You are content. However, you are not. You are cruel. What about the third one? You're you're useless. You're like so useless. So while you're useless, I am going to. Oh, he's betrothed to the Duchess of Burgundy. How interesting. Wait, that's bad. That is actually bad, because since she's a duchess... 
Whenever inheritance happens, any land he has will go to her and her progeny. Even though they're my dynasty. Oh, it seems time is up, so we'll figure out what to do with our land in the next episode. So, for now, I will thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.